Hello from Moscow, I'm Simon Marks and all this week here on the online news hour we're going to be taking a look at Russia and where things stand on the eve of Sunday's presidential elections here. Now that building behind me is called in Russian the Bieli Dom, literally the White House. But it is not entirely analogous to the White House back in Washington DC because while this White House does house the Russian government, the country's prime minister, his cabinet and their administrative staffs, everyone here in Moscow knows that the real seat of power is just down the river at the Kremlin. It's that building, a 12th century fortress that was the center of power in Russia throughout much of the imperial era and throughout Soviet times. And for the past eight years, Vladimir Putin's rule has extended across Russia's 12 time zones from within its 15th century walls. But all that is coming to an end. Vladimir Putin is term limited and he must leave the presidency in May. So his hand-picked successor, first Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev, is expected to romp to victory in Sunday's elections. The result is a foregone conclusion. The field of candidates participating in the election has been so constrained by the Kremlin and the endorsement of Vladimir Putin is so politically valuable given the current president's 80% approval rating here that opinion polls suggest Mr Medvedev enjoys a 60% lead over his nearest, for want of a better word, rival. So the stage is set for Mr Medvedev to move out of the White House and into the Kremlin and for Vladimir Putin to pack up his office furniture in the Kremlin and send it down here to the White House. For as soon as the elections are over, President-elect Medvedev is expected to choose Vladimir Putin to be his Prime Minister. Now this is all a new experiment for Russia. On paper, the paper in question being the Russian Constitution, the President trumps the Prime Minister. And yet Vladimir Putin is widely expected to overshadow, if not dominate, his hand-picked successor. Now President Putin says this is no big deal. He says he's known Dmitry Medvedev for 17 years, trusts him and is confident that the two men share a common vision of a Russia resurgent at home and on the world stage. Its resurgence fueled, of course, by an oil boom. Nevertheless, there are doubts here and in other world capitals about how these new political arrangements will work out and about the fate of Russian democracy in the process. We'll explore some of those questions in a special report on Friday's edition of the News Hour with Jim Lehrer and in further online News Hour dispatches throughout the week. I hope you'll join us.